you never think of a theme and then decide how to make it into a film. I don't anyway. Um, I just get ideas. And a theme, if anything, like a theme uh, comes, it emerges later after all the ideas have strung themselves together. So um, I don't know where ideas come from. I, I think um, they say everything, everything comes from the unified field, which underlies creation. And so ideas have to come from there. You know, uh, they must start there. And somewhere along the way, the conscious mind catches an idea. And that's the most thrilling part of the whole process, because then you know what you're going to do. Or you know a fragment of what you're going to do, and that fragment makes you fall in love. So the early ideas for Blue Velvet were... red lips, green lawns, and the Bobby Vinton song, Blue Velvet. I liked the script initially, I read it. Um, it was very charged. Subject matter was very, very tense and very erotic, I think, and frightening. Actors are people whose gift is saying goodbye to themselves and taking on a, a, a new persona. And this is a tricky business. The better the atmosphere on a set, in my mind, the easier it is for them. And the more they feel at ease and free to let their talent go, the better it is for them and the film. David has the most incredible language um, in his relationship to actors. You know, he somehow knows exactly the words to choose to describe the essence of a character. Uh, for me, um, especially you know, having worked with him the first when I worked with him the first time, in his description of Sandy. Um, you know, he really, I think, wanted her as um, sort of the archetype of the girl next door and the light and Robins and um, safety and, uh, you know, a hopeful world and all these kinds of descriptions. But he would always add to that that there was a, in, in David's terminology, a wind or a mystery to all of it. And it's because I think he loves expressing the dua duality of people and the opposites in each character. So um, he seemed to help me understand immediately, you know, that she, yes, she is one thing, but you can always play with what's underneath, which is a, the essence of Blue Velvet. He has the ability to somehow be aware of the entire picture at the same time and yet incredibly focused and interested and charmed by uh, what's happening between the actors at any given moment. You never get a sense like, oh my God, we're running behind, we're not going to get the day. He's like, let that take care of itself, you know. It's like, what he likes to do is just make sure that he's comfortable. It's like a great athlete, you know, he gets himself in a place that's comfortable, he's relaxed, he's calm, the set is ready, people are ready to create. No extra tension, fun. Ideas that string themselves together, they don't always neatly form like a one genre film. The idea of handcuffing yourself to a genre is, I think, pretty absurd. And many films that I like, anyway, are not just one genre. They're, they, there's two or three genres maybe swimming together. And But it's the story. You don't say, I want three or four genres swimming together. That would be the wrong way to attack it. It's the story, the ideas that tell you.